I'm honestly blown away, humbled, thrilled, every single emotion you could imagine. Hera J. Brown is the ninth University of Tennessee grad to be chosen as a Rhodes Scholar. Only 32 students win the award every year, and Brown is making history as the first transgender woman to be a Rhodes Scholar. Reporter Shannon Smith spoke with her about this accomplishment. Shannon? Cole, Hera J. Brown is a proud transgender woman from right here in Knox County, but that's not why she was named a Rhodes Scholar. She worked hard for years for this award, now hoping to inspire other trans scholars. Kara J. Brown graduated from UT in 2018. And I did sociocultural anthropology and migration studies. She just found out she was chosen as a Rhodes Scholar. I'm honestly blown away, humbled, thrilled, every single emotion you could imagine. This is the second year in a row a Rhodes Scholar has been a recent UT graduate. That's rare. It is the most famous award of its kind. Andrew Seidler with UT's National Scholarship Office says it takes years of work to be one of 32 students nationwide chosen each year to be Rhodes Scholars. It takes a special student to not just excel in the classroom, but out of it and really have a sense of purpose in the world. A special student like Brown, who's now the first transgender woman to be a Rhodes Scholar. I see this as an opportunity to, to validate um, kind of the role that trans scholars, and especially trans women scholars, have in uh, addressing some of the world's biggest issues. Brown will use her award to continue studying forced migration and working with refugee populations. It's something that not a lot of people can distinctly talk about what it feels like to lose a home. She lost most of her family's support when she came out as transgender. If I've survived that, then nothing else really can, uh, can knock me back. Brown isn't getting this recognition because she's a trans woman, but she hopes she can inspire others who are. No matter how dark things seem, how lonely things uh, may get, that there are people that are around you that are going to be around you and that will be around you to, to welcome you home. Brown finishes her current scholars program in Eastern Europe later next year, and she'll start her studies at Oxford University in England as a Rhodes Scholar next fall. Beth Cole.